So I was super anxious, I wouldn't eat, I fell into an eating disorder. I honestly almost crashed my own car because I was so fed up with the legalism that I had been tormented with because I, I was very gung-ho about the will of God. You know, like when you realize something, you've done something wrong, all you wanna do is just correct it and be right again. But to the point where it was an unhealthy balance and that's why I fell into that legalism. I fell into that religion, religiosity and that religious mindset, that religious brain. I was all about the will of God and being super duper obedient. I was all about the will of God to the point where I was driving for like 45 minutes straight in a circle because I wasn't sure if the will of God was for me to go to the movies with my dad or to stay with my family at a get together that they were having for dinner. And because I did not know, I was driving in circles. And that was a perfect image of how it is to be legalistic you just drive, or just being on the healing hamster wheel of new age spirituality. It is driving in circles and not really getting to a destination. Because I missed the point of the fact that I had free will and that I was already free to make a decision and that God will meet me there. God will keep me regardless if I'm perfectly obedient, perfectly the will of God, perfectly walking on each stone. See, I was terrified of rock, stepping on the wrong stone. And if I stepped on the wrong stone, in my mind at the time, it would have been bust for me. That's a very terrible way to live. And I never acted like that until I had really immersed myself into the New Age because the New Age was very covert. I, the New Age taught me, and the New, New Age spirituality is basically a, it's a, a collection of different thoughts and belief systems mainly esoteric, uh, sometimes occult, sometimes witchcraft, sometimes a dash of Christianity, sometimes, you know, a lot of Hinduism, Buddhism, but it's basically cherry picking all these different faiths to make a doctrine that is very detrimental to our spiritual health and our spiritual development. Regardless of how it tries to market itself as something good, it's basically like spiritual fast food. It's not something that is sustainable. We need a good, strong foundation of a relationship with the creator of all of these things. The creator of all things. And it's just a very intimate relationship. You know, it's an intimate relationship. I heard from God one day and he told me to get on, to meditate, and to seek therapy because the things that I was into was not easy it was not I touched some dark stuff spiritually and we, as us as humans we don't realize how much this stuff can mess us up until we get out of it it's like some things we're, just, we're not meant to touch but we got the free will to touch it so all we can do is either succumb or leave with the lesson. You know, we can, we can leave knowing better or knowing that regard, we, we, we will be okay. It was a very wild ride, but I currently I'm at so much more peace because I sought actual psychological help instead of these um, pop psychology, spiritual modalities that I would follow on the internet anything that resonated with me no I just went to I just got professional psychological help and it has been such uh, amazing for me such a breakthrough moment for me at first I was actually anti therapy and medication and so God had put that peace like, there was a very strong peace in my heart about the type of med the very specific type of medication the specific dosage and the specific type of therapy that I needed to seek out for the things that were distorted when I had been in New Age. Think of the followers of Charles Manson. Like if you decided not to be a Charles Manson follower, you think it's just easy to just go about a regular life after dealing with somebody who has really manipulated your mind into thinking these things? No. 
it wouldn't have been easy. They would have needed a lot of therapy. They would have needed a lot of help. They would have needed a crutch. And there's no shame. There's absolutely no shame in having a crutch for your mental health. There's no shame to going to therapy, to taking medication if you need it, and to doing the necessary research for your own um, mental health. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying don't follow your heart. Don't follow your feelings at times. Sometimes we do have a gut feeling. We do have a gut feeling. We also have to balance that out with concrete facts, concrete truth. We have to balance that out with the sciences. We have to balance it out with psychology. We have to. The OC, it, it definitely cured, it cured my OCD. I no longer was stressing about the will of God. I was no longer, my brain was not looking for angel numbers. As sometimes I do catch them still, I still see them, but only when I'm anxious. Like when I'm scared and my brain is trying to protect itself, it tries to find that pattern and sometimes I see it. But I recognize it now, not as something that's still trying to follow me or trying to give me a spiritual revelation, but I see it as a subconscious um, protection, uh, protection mechanism that my brain is trying to do. And I don't want to be in that mindset of fight or flight all the time, looking for patterns and signs. I want to live my life as an evolved, complex human being. And that's something that I'm glad that I had initially graduated from because I, the more that I followed this, the numerology, the more anxious that I got, the more superstitious that I got. I was so superstitious. Really now, after a few years of medication and therapy, I began to see God more clearly for who he is. I began to understand scripture more. I began to understand what new age was more, what it was to me at the time, and the truth about what this, that system can actually do to the mind and how over time it's just not the best modality, it's not the best option. So the more that I walked with God and solidified our relationship and we just I'm still evolving with him get to know him every single day and it's, it's just an amazing journey I'm getting better healing is non-linear and I have my days I do have my days I have my days where I feel triggered again I have my days where I feel like I've doubled, doubled back but everything will be okay and I say that in the least cliche way possible I say that in such a concrete way to the point where I have lived the, it's going to be okay. I've lived that. Those were the stages of coming from new age and currently in a relationship with God and learning more about God myself. Um, that doesn't mean I'm any less spiritual. I'm definitely a spiritual person, but I have more of a balance in my life. I'm not relying on certain rituals and modalities and other type of things. Like if you do, that's you. This is my story, okay? And I feel like a stronger human being. I feel stronger mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and it's definitely a journey. So, thank you for watching. This video was done definitely on a whim. If you have any struggles, just free fill a comment or message me on my social medias right here. If you have anything that you have any questions, if you have any questions about uh, the journey that I've been on, if some of any of this sounds familiar to you, feel free to message me and I'll be more than happy to help to help you walk through it and guide you through it. Um, just, just being a helping hand. I'm also creating a Patreon where I will talk one-on-one -on -one with people that has gone through similar types of experiences, and we will break all of that down more in depth. So thank you so much for watching. My Patreon is coming out soon, and thank you so much. Bye.